Hey guys, what's up? My name is Mark and today I'm going to show you uh, my latest addition to my network, uh, the Synology NAS uh, DS420J. So I was able to convince my family to invest into a, a NAS, which is a network attached storage, uh, for us to share files uh, during this uh, lockdown, especially uh, if you need to share your media files, your photos, your, uh, your probably your, your videos, if you downloaded movies uh, and certain files, it's easier to share if you have a network attached storage. So uh, recently there's a sale in Lazada uh, selling a package of Synology uh, NAS uh, disk stations. Uh, with uh, it's packaged with uh, NAS hard drives. So uh, a couple of things. Uh, the reason why I, I, I opted to invest and asked my family to invest on a home server on a network attached uh, station is uh, first uh, the data is yours. So we all know that we, we use cloud. We have at least five gigabytes of free uh, cloud service for uh, most of most of the phones. Uh, Samsung is about to uh, discontinue their Samsung drive and shifting to OneDrive uh, from 15 gig to at least 5 gig free. So uh, it's pretty small nowadays, although we do have phones that are at least 512 uh, gigabytes of capacity, but uh, you don't have that, uh, that network or sharing uh, on, uh, going on. So, uh, so, so the, the service yours, the cloud's yours, so uh, unlike uh, cloud subscription that you'll need to pay a certain amount monthly and if, eventually if you need to discontinue them then you need to move your files back. So if you have your own server then it's up to you uh, if you need to upgrade it or uh, or probably just uh, buy another server. So it's up to you. And then there's privacy. So the, the uh, uh, you can set up your security in your uh, Synology NAS. Uh, you can share uh, it to only your family members, uh, probably just uh, on a private network. And then um, long term wise, it's cost efficient. So like I said, uh, subscriptions for cloud services, um, a monthly basis or a yearly basis, uh, this is a one time pay. So I bought uh, the package uh, Synology NAS uh, DS, the disk, sta uh, disk station DS420J. So it's a uh, package in Lazada, it's packaged with uh, four four terabyte uh, NAS Seagate uh, drives at Iron Wolf uh, drives. So that's four, eight, 12, 16 uh, terabytes of data. Uh, you can upgrade those uh, eventually if you need to need that space. So uh, my family is okay with uh, that a big capacity already. Uh, and somewhere down the line, if we need to upgrade, you can always swap your drives. So uh, here's a quick uh, look on how to set it up. So it's pretty easy. Don't get intimidated. Uh, but uh, it's easy to set up. It's easy to put in in your private network. It might be harder if you want to share it uh, using your your smart TVs. But there is a way. So here's a quick look. So the promo bundle I bought from Lazada is the Synology DS420J. So the original price is at forty eight thousand three hundred seventy two. And currently it's packaged with four units of Iron Wolf, four terabytes. So now it's at 39,999. It also has free data recover kits per hard drive. Here's a closer look at uh, the four terabyte uh, Seagate Iron Wolf uh, NAS drives. So the main difference between uh, the regular drives and NAS drives are this is uh, designed to work longer. It's designed to run 24 7. Uh, it's used mainly for surveillance and home servers. So, out of the box, you have your uh, regular power cable. So, it says that it, low, uh, it runs low in power, so it's not as power hungry as your uh, desktop or maybe even your laptop. And then you have your uh, regular uh, power brick uh, that's uh, inside the box, very well packed. And then there's a free uh, LAN cable and, pretty, and screws, okay. 
and then your manual. And here's the unit itself. So uh, let's take a closer look. So here's the unit itself, the DS420J. Uh, this houses uh, up to four 3.5 hard drives. Uh, the most basic ones are up to two drives, so this one houses four. So it's pretty small, it's smaller than your regular desktop. And here's a size comparison uh, between a 3.5 drive. So it houses four, like what I said. And uh, it's made of a very good material. And here's, that, here's the back. So it has uh, two fans, uh, two big fans, actually, your power outlet, and then your LAN outlet, and two 3.0 USB, where you can attach your external hard drives or maybe your thumb drive uh, for easy copying. Here's the front view of the unit. So you have uh, your status light, your LAN light, your power button, and four indicators for your hard drive activity. It's pretty small, it's pretty nice. It has uh, thumb screws in it, uh, so you can easily open the back to install your hard drives or swap them if you need to. So you don't need a screwdriver for this. So let's open it up and install uh, all of the uh, four units of hard drive. So here, as you can see, uh, you have your two fans and four trays. Uh, there is a plastic uh, tray uh, that you can insert and just remove this uh, metal plate. So you have these uh, plastic trays where you could put in your hard drive and you just insert it and uh, you're good to go. So I'll show you how to install one. So you just put it in your tray, then use the screws that were included. So it has a 3.5 uh, screws as well as a 2.5 screws if you're planning on to uh, putting in a laptop hard drive in it. And then just take out uh, all of the uh, all of the trays and put all your drives in. And when you're done putting all your hard drives in the tray, it's as easily as sliding it in one by one. Uh, just make sure to uh, start with the bottom part so it's easier to put in. And then slide each one. Uh, make sure it's the right uh, right way. And then just slide it in and make sure it locks. You'll hear uh, or you feel a clicking uh, sound. Uh, not very loud, but you'll you'll feel if it uh, inserts in the socket. When you're done sliding all your drives, uh, there is a longer screw included to lock them in place uh, on the sides, uh, on both sides actually. And then you're done. So you can cover everything back. So just make sure to uh, insert the metal plate in first and make sure it's... Uh, it's aligned to everything uh, before you actually force the screws in. So uh, if you used to in, uh, install your regular desktop, it feels the same. And then you can close it up and uh, deal with the software side. So you need to plug it in, then just press the power button. So it'll blink for a while. Uh, it, if it's the first time you're using it, it'll initialize and you just need to wait for the rest of the lights to uh, turn on. So after attaching your uh, LAN cable to your router, you'll see uh, everything that lights up, including uh, the LAN status to green. And you're ready to set up your uh, Synology NAS. So once you attach everything in the same network, just go to your browser and type in find.synology.com. So it will look for your device as long as it's in the same network, uh, it will find it. Uh, if it uh, if it can't find uh, any device, you need to make sure that you attach the LAN cable properly and that you're in the same network. So just wait for it. And once it finds your device, you just uh, follow the on-screen instructions 
and uh, it will set up and install uh, everything. Uh, it will go through uh, several configurations first, uh, like uh, check the number of hard drives that's attached to it, and then uh, what uh, what setup you need. Uh, is it RAID 0, RAID 1, or I by default? Uh, so I used the default one uh, for Synology, uh, which is... Uh, uh, it's using all four drives, but uh, the storage part only uses uh, the three drives, and the one four terabyte drive is used as a uh, backup drive. It will uh, save images of the drive so that uh, it can uh, you'll be able to recover if uh, there are uh, any errors or data losses from the rest of the three. So just wait for the setup. It will take around ten minutes. And then you should be good. Uh, you should be able to install uh, what software you need. Uh, is it DS Photo, which uh, handles all the photos, or uh, probably this DS Video, which is uh, your media server and uh, the cloud server. So just uh, research some of the things that you want to achieve, and uh, it should be pretty easy. So that's it. It's easy to set up. Uh, it's easy for basic users if you don't know about uh, networking it's pretty straightforward if you're advanced users and you need a home server it's also very good you can uh, you can uh, put up a firewall you can put up a VPN you can even put up your own virtual machine uh, and run uh, any server or if you have small businesses you can use this so it's pretty nice so if you have questions about uh, the device about uh, upgrading uh, feel free to put your comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe